everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the International uh, Christian Fellowship Bible Study uh, Midweek Meal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you guys on. Hey, listen, it is so good to be back. I am so <laughs> glad to see you guys. I don't know what to do. Oh, my goodness. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so we love you so much. Thank you so much for being on. Amen. We're going to uh, have a dynamic word on tonight. Amen. Uh, from Pastor Kimberly, and I'm so excited. I haven't heard it. I don't know what it's all about, but I'm quite sure it is dynamic, and I, I know that it is powerful. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for being on. Y'all get your Bibles out. Come on, listen to me. Get your Bibles and get your tablet, get your pen. And as the word is coming forth, you know what I say all the time. Go ahead and start taking notes so the Holy Spirit will minister the word that's coming coming forth. He'll minister it right directly to you. Amen. Amen. So, hey, listen, do me a favor. Make sure that you share. If you got somebody in the in your in your household, tell them, come on and let's go to let's go to midweek service. Amen. And gather them in. Tell them they don't even have to go far. They don't even have to put <laughs> gas in the car. Okay. Amen. And just tell them to get a cup of coffee and come on and enjoy the word tonight. Amen. So you know what? I'm so grateful that you're here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Pastor Kimberly so she can also greet you. Okay. Pastor Kimberly. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's what, I, 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 hi everybody. <laughs> hi everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing to Here, you want me to do down. that? I think I got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, all right. Who's talking? Who's talking? <laughs> it was me talking. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here tonight. It's good to be in your presence on tonight. Amen. Oh, yes. And most of all, it's good to be in God's presence. How many oh, of you know on. it's always good to be in God's presence? <laughs> so we thank you all for coming on tonight. Yes. Go ahead and share the video. Um, go ahead and type some uh, type some names in there and get some people to come on in. Amen. All right. And get ready for the word on tonight. Um. We just want to thank each and every one of you that are here and that are coming on tonight. We want to thank you in advance uh, for being here and spending time with us on a Wednesday night. Somebody say hump night. Hump <laughs> night. We got Marlene and we got Denisha on already. Amen. Amen. Blessings to you women of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good to have you on. Make sure you guys, and guess who is on? Chester Johnny. Oh, Chester Hold Johnny. on, look, and wait. <laughs> do we love that man dearly yes, we love him amen. so dearly oh amen. can oh, you hug man. yourself okay yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> we also listen listen we also got pastor moses or oh, yes. pastor moses hey yes, you know we love you man of god yes. hey listen god <laughs> is doing great things through harvest okay i'm amen. just saying i'm just saying okay and we're just so excited watching what God is doing through your ministry, man of God. Amen. God bless amen. you and your beautiful wife. Amen. Blessings. Amen. amen. So good to have you guys on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up or you want okay. me to do announcements? How do you want me to do this? Um, Can you do announcements? Real yeah, we're going to do announcements real gonna quick. Gonna so listen, um, I want to let each and every one of you know, first of all, that our apostle will be in the house Sunday, okay? Amen. Okay, Apostle Alfred Craig Sr. is coming to the house, okay? He will be at International Christian Fellowship in Buckeye at uh, 23601 uh, West Durango Street, Buckeye, Arizona, right on, right on Watson Road, amen, at Inca Elementary School. And he will be there, he'll start, uh, he'll be there, what, about 10 o'clock? Yeah. Probably 10, 10, 15, knowing him. It'll be 10, 10, 15. But I'm quite sure he'll be in that pulpit by 10, 20, okay? So listen, you guys, go ahead and share it. Come on out. Visit with us, amen? Because I'm expecting God yes. to send forth a word, amen, for this West Side region, yeah. Buckeye, Avondale, Goodyear region, amen, on Sunday, amen? So I'm telling you, be there, be there, be there, amen? Because I know God is going to have a word just for Absolutely. us. Amen. Come on, Absolutely. Pastor. Yes, yes. ma'am. 
And also, so that's Sunday. Um, also, I will be celebrating my birthday on Sunday. I don't know if they're going to celebrate it, but I'm going to celebrate it, okay? <laughs> so that's a good announcement, amen? Also, on Monday, we have our women's group, okay? Um, we're doing it now on Zoom. It's Mondays at uh, 7 p.m. If you're not on, you're not connected with us, uh, Messenger, Pastor Kimberly, or, or myself mm -hmm. uh, will get you acclimated. Also, on um Listen, on Fridays, we go to the upper room. Amen. We go to the upper room, and I'm going to tell you, we've been going to the upper room on Fridays and, and, and fasting on Saturdays, and I'm going to tell you, we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful Holy Ghost good time. Yes. Amen. And what I mean by Holy Ghost time, meaning that all of us was engulfed in the presence of God in that place, and it was so amazing. And... um you know, that's why we go to the upper room, amen, because we're we're expecting the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, amen. So, Absolutely. listen, God showed up and showed out in that house uh, last Sunday, so you know what I mean? So, on Fridays, you know, join in with us. We also do that by Zoom, and then on Saturdays, we fast from 6 to 6, mm -hmm. amen. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're about this thing. We're about this thing called seeking the face of God, yes. amen. Yes. And so um, I think that is it. And also remember this. Now, don't forget now, on Wednesdays, midweek meal time for Amen. Pastor Amen. Kimberly Perry. Amen. Amen. So you got to be there or be square, right? <laughs> so I think that's all of the announcements. Anything else? Okay. And um, if you want to give to my birthday, you can give to my birthday. Okay. Amen. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, good morning, Mr. Johnson, uh, Johnny Johnson. So good to see you. Yes, yeah, so Amen. good to see you. Very good to see you. And I think I think that's it for right now. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead, do me a favor, grab your family member's hand at this time, and let's go ahead and open up in prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you, and Father, we praise you. We glorify you. And Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you so very much for your presence in this place and in each and every home that is represented here. And we ask the Holy Spirit that you would move by your spirit. And as you move, we will follow in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would just come on in and have your way in each and every home that is represented here. We ask that you, Spirit of the living God, that you would speak through Pastor Kimberly's lips, think through her mind. Lord God, let revelation be spoken on tonight, Lord God, like never before. Let the mysteries of your word be revealed in the name of Jesus tonight. And let many be saved and many be healed and many be delivered. Many be encouraged. Many be enlightened on tonight, Lord God. Many, listen, the blinders falling off of many, many people's eyes tonight, Lord God. And so, Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Somebody give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it on, uh, turn it over to Pastor Kimberly. And um, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead um, and get started. I just want to um, welcome each and every one of you once again and say thank you. Teresa Banks is on. Hey, T. Hey, T. <laughs> we love you so yes. very much. We love you so very much, Amen. okay? Amen. Now, go have them. Go back to Pastor Kimberly. Amen. So we're glad to have you. We're glad to have each and every one of you again tonight. Thank you all. If you would just take a moment and share the video um, so that um, we can get it out there to the world. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So um, let's go ahead and get started because I definitely don't want to keep you long. Somebody say amen. Amen. So let us go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you on tonight. Father, I praise you on tonight. Father, I thank you for your precious spirit on tonight. I thank you for these here, your precious people, oh God, on tonight. And I ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you open up their spiritual ears and their spiritual eyes, oh God. And Lord, I ask you to enlighten them on tonight, oh God. Give them all that they need to comprehend in this great hour. Everything that you have for them, oh God. And Lord, I ask as your word comes forth, Lord God, I ask you to grant them the ability not just to hear my voice, oh God, but the voice behind my voice in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. That revelatory knowledge would be revealed in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Now, Father, as your servant, oh God, I step back right now and I yield and I adhere to your yes, spirit, Lord. oh God. 
Lord, I decrease right now, Lord God, that your spirit would increase. None of me, oh God, and all of you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask <coughs> that you would gird up my mouth, Lord God, and then speak through my lips and most of all, think through my mind in the name of Jesus and unveil this word, oh God. And we, as the people of God, shall forever give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In the mighty, majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And let the church say amen and amen and amen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. A couple of weeks ago, um, we discussed uh, what an honor and what a privilege it was to be a servant for the kingdom of God. And how there was nothing nothing greater than being a servant of God's. And we talked about how um, we talked about how not being being served, but as us as leaders, um, being wholeheartedly serving others. Mm -hmm. And I also explained to you all that Jesus told us in the book of Matthew and in the book of Mark just how the son of God came and he came not to be served, but to serve. Mm -hmm. And you can reference that at Matthew 20 and 28 and Mark 10 and 45. And I also uh, told you all that being one that serves or in other word, a servant means having an attitude that freely sees to others needs and without expecting anything in return. Mm -hmm. I reminded you guys that all that servants, I remind, I'm sorry, but excuse me. I reminded you all that servants appreciate others' worth mm -hmm. and they themselves are not above any job, no matter what position they may hold in the body. Amen. And, um, and that seeking self-honor is contrary to what Jesus displayed as him being a servant. And not only to that, um, the word of God shows us evidence of Jesus um, being a servant, mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. one of the best servants that there is and has ever been in, the, <laughs> in this world here on this side of the earth. Somebody say amen. See, Jesus describes servanthood from a different perspective, uh, a different point of view than what we see today in the body of Christ and the church of Jesus Christ. So understanding that greatness, we need to understand this, you all, greatness in the eyes of the Lord comes through servanthood. Mm -hmm. And there is no greater example of servanthood than through our God, through Jesus himself. Somebody need to say amen one more time. Mm -hmm. The word of God tells us in Matthew 20 and 28, just as the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life for a ransom for many. Uh-huh. Hear me, y'all. He served until death. Mm -hmm. My God, come he on. served until death. And understand, you all, his ultimate service was to give his life for us so that we would have the opportunity to be saved, set free, and delivered in the name of Jesus. So with that being said, we too must have a willingness of heart to be a servant, a true servant. Amen. Somebody say it with me. Amen. And not only that, but we must bring hope, you all, and we must bring healing to the lost. Mm -hmm. Hear me, people of God, to the hurting, to the poor, to the sick, to the brokenhearted, and even to those who are misunderstood. And how many of you know there are a lot of us that are misunderstood? I tell you this, we as a people of color, yeah. we are a people that are misunderstood. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And as we as the people of God begin to take on the character, the mindset of Jesus, we can become known for one of those who have been with Jesus. Oh, somebody ought to say hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Somebody go ahead and type for me. 
I've been with Jesus. Go ahead and type it for me. I've been with Jesus. Now take a moment and type it for yourself and make it personal unto you. Mm -hmm. Type it. I've been with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also discussed some of those who had been with Jesus and we discussed their characteristics. Mm -hmm. So we discussed um, um, the specific plan and purpose that were chosen for those <clears throat> and so as we discussed that, we began to learn a lot about their characteristics. Mm -hmm. So understand this, people of God, the assignment that God has given each and every one of us uh -huh. mm -hmm, is purpose, not just for you. Come on, somebody. But, it's, but it is to help and it is to heal and it is to give hope and ultimately it is to serve others. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we as the believers in Christ have been given the ability, you all, through the power of God yes. to help change lives of others. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. And amen. understand this, you all. Yes. That is truly amazing. Yes. Somebody need to go ahead and type it. That is truly amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, as I've told you all before, we are the hands and the feet of Jesus uh -huh. here in the earth room. And as he has given us this authority and as he has given us this power, it is the same power that he had given his disciples. Yes. Mm -hmm. Matthew 10 and 8, if you all would go there with me, Matthew 10 and 8, it reads, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely give. And Luke 10 and 19, we surely can't leave this one out. Behold, I give the authority, I give you the authority to uh -huh. trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy yes. and nothing by any means shall hurt you. Oh, bless the Lord. So tonight, what I want to do is I want to take a slight little shift in the direction of those who have been with Jesus. How many of you are right with that? All right. All right. You all right with that? So somebody say this for me. Let's get in the word. <laughs> Amen. Let's go ahead and get in the word. Amen. So we'll start part two here. And of course, you all know that my title is They've Been With Jesus. And this, of course, is part two. Amen and amen. So first of all, I want to go ahead and I want to honor Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, I have to honor Holy Spirit. And, I, and, and Holy Spirit, I need you as always. So have your way yes. on tonight. Have your way. Mm -hmm. So how many of you are ready to be known as one of the ones that have been with Jesus? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and type in the comments, me. Go ahead and type it again, me. Now, somebody type it for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as you think about it, that is a remarkable compliment to have. Yes. Is that you've been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn with me in our text scripture, which will be Acts 4 starting at verse number seven down to verse 13. And a few of those I'm going to skip, but it'll be starting at uh, 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 verse number seven. And while you're turning, let me give you those who may not, uh, let me give a backdrop of those who may not be familiar uh, with this uh, text of scripture. The rulers and the leaders and the scribes and when I talk about the scribes, I'm talking about one who is skilled in the Jewish law. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they were very disturbed and they were troubled um, and a little unsettled in their spirit. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to know how this crippled man was healed. Mm -hmm. 
knowing Jesus had already been crucified. Come on, somebody. They wanted to know who and how a miracle was performed with Jesus not even being on the scene. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Understand, this man had been crippled from birth, and all of a sudden, y'all, he's beginning to walk. And not only walking, but he began jumping and he began leaping and leaping for joy and giving God, come on somebody, all the praise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they demanded to know from Peter and John what power and whose authority was that miracle done by. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and start and begin at verse number seven. Mm -hmm. I keep on pushing this wrong button on here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start at Acts 4 and 7. We'll start at verse number uh, 7. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders of Israel, Let's go ahead and drop down to verse number 10. Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands here before you hold. Oh, my God, my God. In other words, by the name of Jesus the Christ, he is no longer broken. Come on, somebody. He has been made whole. How many of you know God still is in the miracle working business Come on now. making us whole in the name of Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 13 reads, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceive that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm going to say it one more time. And they realized they were the ones mm, come on that now. had been with Jesus. Mm. Oh, my God, my God. It was an awakening for them, you all. Mm-hmm they immediately began to recognize that they were first of all men of God. Come on, somebody. Yes. And that they were Jesus followers that, and they had that same boldness and that same tenacity and fearlessness that Jesus had. And now, y'all, mm, somebody go ahead and say they've been with Jesus one more time. <laughs> Ooh. And now they've come to be aware and perceived that they are those who had been with Jesus. Yes. And now knowing that they had been with Jesus and they perceived all of this, they recognized that not only had they been with Jesus, but now they're like Jesus. Come on, somebody. <laughs> my God, my God. <laughs> Hear me. People of God, y'all got to hear me in this. Mm -hmm. The same power of Jesus was working in and through Peter and John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they wondered, how could this be? Mm -hmm. They wondered, mm -hmm. how could this be? They thought, mm, once they had done away with Jesus, y'all, all this miracle stuff and all this Jesus stuff would be done away with too. <laughs> My God. But to their surprise, mm -hmm, not only did they have to worry, y'all, about this Jesus story continuing to rise up all across the land, but here now are two of his disciples, and what they were doing was replicating Jesus. Come on, somebody. They were duplicating our Jesus and carrying that same authority and power as Jesus did. Come on. Somebody need to say they've been with Jesus. Come on, somebody. <laughs> they've been with Jesus. Oh, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and understand this, you all. Now they 
are beginning to understand. Mm -hmm. After all this, they're now beginning to yeah. understand. Mm -hmm. Somebody else ought to type for me. They got a revelation. Come on, somebody. They got a revelation. Mm -hmm. Hear me, you all. Mm -mm -mm. Those who had been with Jesus, those who had spent time in the presence of Jesus, mm -hmm. those who have a relationship with Jesus, have the same power and authority that he had. Come on, somebody. Luke 9, 1 and, and 2 tells us, go ahead and turn there. I'll give you a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was Jesus giving them direction. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. Mm, my God. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons. And over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach to the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Mm -hmm. So hear this, believers. Don't be afraid to walk in your God-given authority. Mm -hmm. Understand this, you all. The one that holds all the power, hear me, y'all, resides on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to exercise that power that worketh in and through you, through Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, my God, I need you to recognize for your own self that you've been with Jesus. Somebody go ahead and say it. I've been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Know that Jesus radiates on the inside of you. Come on, somebody. Why? Because he lives down on the inside of you. And understand this, you all. Mm -hmm. There are two types of Christians. Mm -hmm. We have that Christian, that one who has just accepted Christ and they're not sure who they are mm -hmm, and what they have in Christ. And then we have those Christians that who have accepted Christ and know who they are and know what they deserve in Christ. Come on, somebody. And how they know it is because they have a lifestyle of spending time in Christ. Oh, hallelujah. And hear this, you all. When we have a lifestyle of beginning, when we have a lifestyle of being with Jesus, there's a change in you. And that change starts immediately when you begin to spend time yes. with Jesus. Mm -hmm. It begins by a change in your thinking. Come on, somebody. You got to hear me. A change in your talk. Oh, y'all got to hear me in this. Uh-huh. There's a change even in your walk with Jesus. And you begin to get this peculiar, this peculiar kind of anointing. And what happens, it begins to emerge and people begin to wonder, who are you? My God, it's not the same person that I knew before. Come on, somebody. Come on now. Mm -hmm. When you spend time with Jesus, there's a shift that he does in you. There's a change that he does in you. Come on, somebody and hear me. There's a boldness that overtakes you, mm -hmm, that speaks out in total confidence, you all. And that confidence is not in yourself, but is it in God? It is in God himself. Mm -hmm. And know this, you all. It all comes, I'm going to say it again, with spending time with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm, Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this. Be assured, people of God, people will recognize you have been with Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. They will recognize that you have been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. The question is, is how do you recognize someone that has been with Jesus? Mm -hmm. How do you recognize Someone that has been with Jesus. Somebody go ahead and type for me. Let's find out. <laughs> hey, man, go ahead and type that for me. Turn with me all 
you all uh, to Luke 9 and 28. Luke 9 and 28. Mm -hmm. Now it came to pass <coughs> about eight days after these sayings that he, when I say he, I'm talking about Jesus, that he took Peter, John, and James and went up on a mountain to pray. Mm -hmm. How many of you have been on a mountain to pray? Mm -hmm. It is a great experience. Yes, if you have not done it, Make yeah. sure this spring you go up on the mountains and pray. Yeah. Those of are here in Arizona. Come on, somebody. Verse number 29 says, as he prayed, the appearance of his face was altered and his robe became white and glistening. And behold, two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah, mm -hmm. who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which was about to, about to accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and those with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Then it happened, as they were parting from him, that Peter said to Jesus, Master, is it good for us to be here? And let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. And while he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were fearful as they entered the cloud. Mm -hmm. And a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Yes. Hear him. Mm -hmm. When the voice had ceased, Jesus was found alone. But they kept quiet and told no one in those days any of these things that they had seen. Mm -hmm. Somebody said again. They have been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. They've been with Jesus. See here, Jesus chose Peter and James and John for this special event. Come on, somebody. And, and as Jesus was praying, his appearance and his face were just totally transformed. And his clothes became extremely yes. white, glaring with a true essence of his glory. Somebody say hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Understand you all, this special revelation mm -hmm, was in order to reveal to his yes. inner core disciples, not to the rest of them, but his inner core yes. disciples. He wanted to uh, 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 reveal to him his glory. Come on, somebody. He wanted to reveal to him them his purity, my God, and that he also wanted to re to reveal to them his that he was the untainted lamb of god oh my god and he was the son of the living god yes. oh hallelujah and then god himself spoke this is my beloved son. yes come on now listen to him mm. i'm going to say it again somebody say They've been with Jesus. Mm. Oh, my God. I, my God. Understand you all. When you've been with Jesus, God begins to reveal things to you yeah. on a different level. Not like he used to. He begins to take you to a higher dimension in yes. him and yeah. begin to reveal things to you in a whole nother way. Mm -hmm. He brings it to you in a place of where revelatory knowledge is not well known to men, mm -hmm. not mere men. Come on, somebody. You no longer are like just mere men because he's taking you to a new dimension in him. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Then you'll hear, begin to hear his voice more clearly. Oh, hallelujah. That small, still voice mm -hmm, becomes ignited 
even the more in your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Hear this, y'all. He sharpens your ear to hear his voice. Yes. In other words, y'all, he tunes up your spiritual channels. Somebody type that for me. He tunes up my yeah. spiritual channel. Come mm -hmm. on now, that's mm -hmm. good. It's no guessing anymore mm. that whether it's him, whether it's me, or whether it's the enemy, you know for sure mm -hmm. without a shadow of a doubt that it is God himself speaking to you. Mm -hmm. He then begins to give you more insight, you all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He begins to give you insight on things that are happening right now here in the world and even the more things that are to come in the world. Mm -hmm. Talking about more like a word of wisdom. Come on, somebody. He begins to give you words of knowledge. Come on, somebody, and hear me in this. Mm -hmm. He truly then becomes that lamp unto your feet and that light unto your pants. Come on, oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You can begin to see beyond mm -hmm. any circumstances that stand before you. You can begin to see beyond those bad situations that you run into. Come on, somebody. But trusting God in faith that all will be well, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like, knowing in faith that all will be well. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, this, I will stay with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I will stay with Jesus. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close us out. So let's go ahead and give God a hand praise. Oh, bless the name of the Jesus. Bless his hallelujah. name. Mm -hmm. They've been with Jesus. You've been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take that time and prophesy to yourself that you've been with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. My, my, my. We're going to go ahead into altar call. And if you hear and you're under the sound of my voice tonight, it's no accident. Mm -hmm. It's God ordained and meant for you to be here on tonight. God wants you to have an ear to hear on tonight. He wants you to understand that being with him is the best thing that you could ever experience. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is just say yes to Jesus and receive him in your heart. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You may be thinking, oh my, I've done too much, pastor. I'm not worthy and he may not accept me. But I'm here to tell you on tonight, God loves you and you too can enter in to his presence by faith. Mm -hmm. And believe me, you, he understands all that you've been through and he wants you to know that you've already been, been forgiven and all you need to do is to repent, change your mind, and receive him as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. No matter what you've done, no matter what you're even doing right now, he'll still accept you just as you are. And he will clean you up if you allow him to. Or you might just be that one backslider that has fallen away from the things of God and you may want to recommit your life to Christ on tonight. The time is now. The first thing you need to do is to repent and turn your heart back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Know that God is a God of patience and he has been patiently waiting for you to return. Jeremiah 3 and 14 tells us that God is married to the backslider and he will meet you right where you are. No questions asked. Come, the time is now. 1 John 1 and 9 tells us, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to purify you of all unrighteousness. And Romans 1 and 9 for that new believer says, if you confess with your mouth 
that the Lord Jesus and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you too shall be saved. It's just that simple, you all. If you believe it in your heart and you feel led to pray with me, I ask you to repeat after me. Jesus, Jesus. I, realize I'm a sinner, I realize I'm a sinner. And I have not followed your ways. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins and come into my heart and live within me. Satan, I shall no longer serve you. My ear has been turned and my heart has been changed and I now belong to God. Lord Jesus, cleanse me, wash me, and make me whole. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and power. And I shall serve you all the days of my life. If you just confess that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. And know the angels in heaven are rejoicing yes, right along with us. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And in your, it, and now you have a new life Come in on. Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. You are now a new creation. And all of those Woo! old things have passed away. Yes. Mm -hmm. And your life will never be the same in <laughs> Jesus' name. Oh, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you would like some additional information um, from us, all you have to do is put a, a, a note in the comments where either you can uh, 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 inbox International Christian Fellowship and we will get back with you or one of our elders will get back with you. Mm -hmm. And um, so now I just want to go ahead and let's give them one more hand praise. Hallelujah. For those new believers. Hallelujah. And for those who have come back to Jesus. Hallelujah. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Pastor Rita and she is going to do our Offering. Offering. <laughs> Offering and benediction. Amen. So, Pastor Rita. Oh, that was a dynamite word. I told y'all, y'all better hold on. You better hold on. Hey, listen, you know, we've been with Jesus. And, you know, when we were, Jesus. we were praying and, and, and the Lord said, for those of you who received that word, expect by faith to move in signs, and wonders in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because this is the season when the world starts going crazy. God raises up a standard. Yes. Amen. Yes, and does. so you know what? Get ready, church. Go ahead. Take that word. Amen. Be confident and be bold and be courageous. And go ahead and lay hands on the sick. Go ahead and prophesy. Come on. I don't know who I'm talking to. Go mm -hmm. ahead and do it. Amen. Because you have been with Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So guess what time it is? It is now time for our tithes and our offerings. Amen. 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 I'm going to come out of 2 Corinthians uh, 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 9 and 6. Amen. And it says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will all also reap generously. It says, each man shall give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so amen. that in all things, at all times, having everything that you need, amen, hallelujah, and so we're going to drop down to 10, and it says, now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will mm -hmm. also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, our generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Amen. Amen. So that's for those of you who are tonight um, uh, sowing your seed on tonight. And then I'm going to go over to Malachi for those of you. Amen. And these scriptures here is just to keep you in faith because I'm going to tell you this right now. Do you know so many believers are fought 
by the enemy when it comes to sowing mm -hmm. and reaping. Yeah. They are fault all the time mm -hmm. when it comes to the tithe. They're fault. And I remember, okay, I remember being fault. And so when I go over these scriptures, you know what I mean? It's just to make sure that I read them out loud because I know that the word of God is faith filled. And so when you hear it and you receive it, amen, you can act upon it and expect, amen, for yeah. God's word to manifest amen. in your life concerning your finances. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So let me let me put my eyes back on y'all. <laughs> I'm going to put them back on. And I'm going to drop down to 10. It says, um, um, I'm in Malachi 3 and 10. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And it says, test me to this, says the Lord Almighty, mm -hmm. and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven mm -hmm. and pour you out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. He says, I will prevent the pest from devouring your crops. And meaning, he'll prevent the enemy because back there it is agriculturally speaking. I say it all the time. But, but in our society today, he's talking about your finances. Amen? Mm -hmm. That he will prevent the enemy from coming up against them. And he said, um, from devouring your crops and the vines in your fields will not cast their fruit, says the Lord Almighty. Then all nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. Amen. So God is saying that when you enter into the economy of the kingdom of God, amen, you can expect him to allow grace to make the to come your way so that you will have all that you need at all times, amen, no matter what it is, amen. Mm -hmm. He says that when we come and we bring our tithes, we can expect him to open up the windows of heaven. And so when we think about that, you know, we think about opportunities, great opportunities, advancement on our job, hey, listen, a new, a better high-paying job, amen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, uh, promotions, amen, people coming and just blessing you with stuff. He says, I'm, I'll open it up and, and pour you out blessings that you won't even have room enough to to keep it all, amen? And so this is the thing that we do is when we when we uh, bring our tithe, number one, let me say this, and I heard uh, Apostle Alpha Craig say this. First of all, it's obedience. Mm -hmm. It's obedience because we're not in the law, amen? This is not, I'm reading it out of the Old Testament, but if you go into the New Testament, you'll see that they still, they still gave their tithe, Amen? But it's out of obedience to God, saying that you know what I do trust you, I do obey. I, you know, I submit my, I submit everything that you have given me, yes. and I offer it back up to you as an offering, and I'm worshiping you, worshiping you with it, Amen. So, you know, God uh, wants to expand us in our finances. He, He's our Father. He hates to see that we have to struggle mm -hmm. from this to that to this to that. But we have to come to the point and say, you know what, Lord God, I trust you with my finances. Amen. I trust you with everything that you have given me. Mm -hmm. I trust that you will give seed to me because I am a sower. Amen. I trust that you will rebuke the devourer for my sake. Amen. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the enemy can't even come up against my job. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so, you know, we have to really trust and believe God in his word when it comes to sowing and reaping. And amen. And, and, and the windows of heaven being opened up for us, amen? I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I like uh, walking and living life up under an open heaven, amen? amen? Come on, pour out on me, Lord, amen? amen. And, and let me clear the garage out, okay, so I can get something else in there, amen? So hallelujah, but one of the things I really like what he said in, in uh, 2 Corinthians, he said that uh, on your generosity, he said that, that, that I, you will be made rich, Amen. And so at the end of that, he goes and says that out of your generosity, meaning that when we be made rich, meaning in abundance, that it ain't all the time just for us. You know what I mean? It's to bless other people, to help other ministries. You know, hey, listen, you know, uh, 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 taking care of uh, uh, the, the kids that are in foster homes or whatever it might be. Amen. But our generosity, because then we can we can be generous. And a lot of times, a lot of us would love to give. Be blessed to be a blessing. Be blessed to be a blessing, but we don't have the finances, but we got to start somewhere. We got to trust God. Somebody say somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. So I put up the uh, cash app. Amen. And I'm going to, I don't know. We have people also that um, do PayPal. So you could either do the PayPal or either the cash app. Amen. And so if you have your offering all put together amen 
We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to uh, pray over your offering, amen, and then we're going to go right into the benediction, amen? amen? Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you, and we praise you, Lord God, and I thank you that, Lord God, that your people have responded to your word by faith, Lord God. Meet them right where their faith is, Lord God. And open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, Lord God. And rebuke the devourer for their sake. That people will look and say, what a delightful land that they live in. How did they get this far? We already know that the blessing that you have poured out on them, Lord God, is on their lives. And so, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that those of, who have sowed and have sowed generously and reaped generously, Lord God, and that they're given out of a grateful, glad, generous heart. Amen. Father, we thank you for them. And we thank you that you continue to give seed to the sower, Lord God. And so, Father, we thank you and we speak the blessings over their lives yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, Amen. that everything that they go to touch and everything that they go to do, Lord God, that they prosper in it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you and we worship you and we praise you with this offering in the mighty name of Jesus. And we praise you. Amen and amen, amen. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody come on and give God a hand praise. Amen. amen. I'm always expecting God to do great things when it comes come to finances because I'm going to tell you this now. I don't care how much money I got. I'm going to always sow. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm always sow. If, I'm, if I only got a little bit, I ain't going to be embarrassed either. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sow because the thing is, I got to keep the economy, the economy moving. Amen. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God's economy moving through my life. Amen. And I'm never going to ever stop uh, uh, tithing because you know what? When we give unto the kingdom of God and tithe, he said, and let there be food in my house. I got to think about it. Where would I be if it wasn't for the church? Where would I be if it wasn't for the church? Amen. I remember when I walked in that church the very first time after God delivered me and the church was there. And just imagine if all them people didn't tithe and all them people didn't give offerings, the church when they never existed. Amen. And I bet you some of y'all sitting there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, you, you understand? I bet you you're thinking about it. You go back and you think. How that with that church that you came to and you got saved, amen, and you grew up in that church or whatever, if nobody gave tithes and nobody did offerings, that church would have never been there. Mm -hmm. But God has called us, amen, to make sure that his house have exactly what it needed. Then he says, he'll take good care of us, amen. So glory to God, amen. So guess what? We're going to go ahead. I'm going to do the benediction. I want to tell all of you, thank you so yeah, very much, so much for coming on tonight. Amen. amen. I know you were blessed with that word. Amen. So thank you so much. Again, make sure that you share. Amen. Um, and and um, what, what's today? Wednesday. By Friday, if you run across the video again, share it again because you never know. Amen. Mm -hmm. And most importantly is that somebody gets saved. Most importantly, somebody get encouraged and, and, and yes. willing to step out on the word of God according to what was spoken on tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because they know they've been with Jesus. And if they ain't been with Jesus, they're going to want to be with Jesus when they hear this word. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and, and do that for me. Amen. God bless you all. We love you so much. And go ahead and bow your heads with us, please. Father, we thank you. And Father, we praise you. And Lord, we speak the blessings of Abraham uh, uh on the lives of your people, Lord God. And, yes. and we thank you that, Lord God, that they are blessed in the city and they're blessed in the field, Lord God. And, mm -hmm. and they are the head and not the tail, yeah, Lord God. Tail. And, yeah. and Lord God, I thank you in the name of Jesus that, that they are not the, bow, the borrower, <laughs> Lord God, but they are the lender in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. And all of their needs are met according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for each and every one, Lord God. I call each and every one that's on this line right now, I call you healed yes. in the name in of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, I command that spirit that's coming up against your mind, I command it to, to cease from its activities in the yes, name of right Jesus now, right and now. never to return mm -hmm. in Jesus' Jesus. name. I call your mind the mind of Christ right yes, now in right Jesus' now. name. So, Father, we thank you and we praise you for your people, Lord God. And may your blessings continue to overtake them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hey, we love you guys. Thank you so much for coming on. And the announcement one more time about Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Oh, the announcement again about Sunday. Also, again, 
Sunday, Apostle Alfred Craig will be at International Christian Fellowship. Amen. Amen. So uh, listen up. Make sure you invite somebody. Um, if you're going to be online, go ahead and, 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 and put some other people's names in so they can come in. He has a dynamic word yes. uh, for this region. Amen. Amen. I believe that with all of my heart that when he come into the house, things will never be the same again. Amen. And I truly believe it. Amen. He has a word just for International Christian Fellowship friends and family amen <laughs> so you know what i'm excited about it amen it's going to be my birthday weekend so you know what just god bless all of you make sure that you be on amen also monday don't forget about the women's zoom meeting also don't forget about uh bible study next week uh wednesday amen make sure you invite somebody amen and don't forget about friday upper room amen, amen. hallelujah we're going to the upper room so if you want a life-changing experience, if you want to go into deeper things of God, amen, if, you, if you're inspiring ministry, that really is the place to be. It's in the upper room, amen, amen. because, listen, we can't do ministry without prayer, amen. amen. Oh, oh, come on now. That's now, let's we go. Call. That's, that's your call. first call is prayer. Mm -hmm. If you say you called the ministry and you inspired to do uh, operating ministry, and if you don't have no prayer life, I don't know. We might have to, we might have to um, pray about that, amen. <laughs> So, amen. I want you to be encouraged, amen. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you throughout this week. We love you so very yes, much. God yes. bless you all. Amen. And I want you all to have a wonderful night. All right. God bless. God bless. Good night.